Hi people, welcome to my channel, Via Roko channel, here, yeah. you are in the right place, hmm. you'll be wondering what is going on here, <laughs> first of all I want to greet everybody, all those that are following me, thank you so much, all those that are watching my videos, I thank you so much, all those that are watching me for the first time, you're welcome to my channel, it is well. Please subscribe to my channel, that way you see my videos immediately, I upload them. And if you have a comment to make, leave your comment below. Please subscribe to Viroko channel. I have a lot to offer here. Yeah. Okay, let me go on to what I have today. This is what I'm doing today. This one. Everybody knows this. Yeah? Let me show you. What is this? Ground nuts. Yes? Good. I am preparing this today. Groundnut soup. <laughs> yes, that is what I'm doing today. Okay, I already have my half cup of groundnut here. I have blended this. When I am when I'm tired of eating a goosey soup, yeah, I use this to prepare my soup, which is groundnut. I love groundnut. It's a very good um, dish. I love it. This is. It's good for everything. It's like egosi. If you've not tried it before, give this recipe I'm about to share with you now. You'll love it. It's a delicious meal. You can use a granola soup with pounded yam, pounded potato, fufu, etc. Rice, anything, what have you. Okay. So for this soup today, this is what you'll be needing. Of course, you'll be needing your granola to blend them. You'll be needing, as you have here, I have my tomatoes, I have my onions, yes, one onions or two as you like. I have my garlic, I have peeled, I've washed them, this one is ready. I have my locust bean here, about um, a tablespoon of locust bean. A seasoning, I might not put it because I have my broth here for my meat, yes. Talking about my meat, I will be using goat meat today. Yes, this is my goat meat. I have boiled, I have seasoned it, I have um, previously boiled them down. Yes, and I'll be using my triper. I have boiled, seasoned. Yes, I have my fish here that I grilled personally. Yes, this is my scotch bonnet. One will do because it's very peppery. But if you want more than one, if you support pepper, fine. I'm using one because this my own is very. No, it's very peppery. This one is scent leaves. This one is my onion I will be needing. Another um, one, I have about one onion here. I have chopped them up, I need it. This is my crayfish, a tablespoon of crayfish. If you have more crayfish, fine. This is salt to taste. Palm oil, of course. I'm using palm oil for this recipe. Yes, these are all what I'm using for the recipe. Yes, I have my gizzards here. I have boiled and trimmed. This one is turkey gizzard. They are normally big. I cut them, in, I chop them into bits. Okay, okay. Let's get to the cooking. I'm Come going to start me. now. Yeah. So I'm going to put my palm oil in my pot. About this one tablespoon, or even more, because the palm oil is it has congealed because. It's getting colder where I live, so my palm oil starts congealing. So this is the palm oil, yes. I'm going to add a little more because I need palm oil for this recipe, okay. Put palm oil or whatever oil, you can use even ground oil, or, but me, I use palm oil to prepare this palm oil. Trust me now, I don't want to waste anything, African mama. I'm going to use my hand. That is what I do. And instead of washing, I'm going to lick it off. Mmm. oil is very good for the body. Mmm. -hmm. Yes, it's good. That is what I do. 
Whenever my hand comes in contact with oil, I lick it. It's good. So meanwhile, while I'm waiting for it to blanch a bit, I want it to blanch a bit. I'm going to blend my pepper and my things. I'm going to blend them now. Yes. Okay. My oil stayed for about three minutes. Eh? So I'm going to put my onions. Don't worry. Not a problem, yeah. My, my local thing. We call it in your language, we call it Iru. What is going here now? My goat meat. I love to put it with the palm oil a bit. I baste it in the palm oil in order for it to be tasty. Yeah. If you've not tried this method before, please try it. You will love it. It's good. So my meat goes in there, yeah. My meat going there. I'm going to add my tripa, yeah. My gizzard, mm -hmm. all my meat is going in here now, yeah. This is how I do my own. I make it. You know, I basically it a little bit in the palm oil. I love the taste. Oh, wow. Try this recipe. You will like it. If you've not done your own like this before. I said I was going to blend my pepper. This is my pepper that I blend. I'm going to add it now. Yeah, everything inside. Going now, 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 now. No? That's it. Recipe is the first one. This is my quick fish, it's going in now. Okay. These are my scent leaves, I'm putting them now. It's about half a teaspoon of scent leaves. Yeah. So, I'm putting my fish now. Yeah. This is my fish, it's going now. The meat first and then the fish last. So now, I'm going to make it steam for about 10. This is going to cook for about 10 to 15 minutes, yes? Okay. I've not added my broth now. It's not yet time for me to add my broth. My granite is going later, yes? Okay. Watch me slay my granite soup. Mm -hmm. I'm timing it right away. Okay, okay. About 15 minutes has passed. Yes. Now, I'm going to put my granite paste, my blended granite inside. The first one, and water out the stock from the meat. Yes. I'm going to add it. I'm adding everything inside. Yes. I'm adding everything. This is the stock from the meat. So now, we stir. Some people, some people like adding hot water to mix the granite paste. Me, I put my own like that too. There's no point. So what I do is I just try to, you know, I, Mix it properly inside. But as the soup is boiling, the lumps break off. You understand? It's just like a goosey, so it's not a problem. So that's it. That's the soup. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to put salt yet. I'm not going to put this is my salt. I've not touched it. This is my seasoning. I've not touched it because while I was boiling my meat, I used seasoning. I use seasoning and I use salt, so... And granite, since it's... Uh, the roasted granite is kind of a little salty. It's the salted one, you understand? So, we have to be careful. I can as well even test. Mm. Mm. You know me? Wow, this is... I beg, you don't put water for fire for that pan dough. 
Here, people, we are eating pando potato today. We are going to show you how we are going to do it. Yeah. I'm going to show you now, trust. You know I show you everything in my kitchen. No problem. You're welcome. Mm. Hi, this one, good old. Madam, if you cook this soup for your girl, hmm, hmm. Now we'll look at another person again, oh. You know? <laughs> I'm joking, oh, that's me, yeah. It's happening here, being your local channel. Listen, if you are watching this video and you have not subscribed to this channel, I don't know what you're waiting for. Just click that button there. Click it, click it. I think I'll add a little, I'll add seasoning, yeah? Here. Yeah. It's thick. Let me add a little bit of hot water. Just to the you know water of the meat the fats that came with it i want it in the soup my soup i'm going to put it off in five minutes time oh this soup here yeah, you don't ready oh hey you okay the water don't pour the swallow water don't pour me i want shuffle sam that's it five minutes time people this is my soup it's ready. See? Yeah. So I'm going to dish it out later to show you guys, yes? But now I want to share with you because uh, what we are going to use the soup to eat. We are eating potato pound. I'm introducing my daughter here. She's, she's my assistant chef, yes. She loves this soup. This is her best soup. We're not soup with pound potato, so we're eating it. So we are sharing it with you guys now, eh? We started stirring. Yes. We're stirring it. We put it little by little. And as we go, we add hot water to the pound of potato. Uh, lower the something, it's too high. Okay, it must not be high. If not, you won't get it. So we'll continue to put it. I'm going to add uh, some drops of oil inside, yes, that is how I do it. I'm going to add drops of oil, okay, like so, so that everything will blend well with it. That is how I do my own. If you don't want to put oil in your own, it's not a problem. Put, add more water. We add water gradually. Add a pound of potato, yes. My daughter is so good in preparing it. She's so, so good, yes. She's always assisting me in the kitchen. More water. Stay. Good girl. That's my baby. Okay, we'll put everything inside. This one we're preparing is for people that are going to eat it. Yes, for people. We are four in this family. So, we're going to put our hot water. And we're going to let it steam. When we are done, we're going to show you. Okay. So, hey people, here we have our, this is how I do it. I also mix it with some uh, potato starch. Yes. It will make it compact well and blend together. You know, to make it really look like pando. So, you mix it with cold water. This is a, a tablespoon with cold water of starch. This is potato starch. Anything you have, you can use to hold it, you understand? Stay it properly. Once you put in your starch, you start to energetically, you know, you stay properly. You see? You see it's holding now. Yes, this is what I'm talking about. It will now, you know, to hold properly. Yes. So this is how we do it. You see, you can observe that. Uh, let me hold the pot for you. Oh yeah. You see the the swallow has. Uh, Automatically, you see, see, fufu, 
that's turned to a pando because of the starch, effect of the starch. Mm -hmm. Let me test it. It's ready. You don't need to put it a little bit. And we are done. We're going to put it now. We're going to show you. Okay. This is our pando potato. And this is the soap. You cannot soap. Remain blessed.